I'm very concerned that the health industry is not paying enough attention to the security of the information we've been entrusted by our patients. And what I mean by that is in the old days there was a concern that there would be privacy intrusions into the confidential information that patients give us. But now we're talking about the security of the information and it's under attack by criminal elements, which is new to healthcare. And just like we're seeing in the financial services industry where there's criminals attacking major institutions like stores and uh, banks for financial information, I believe we are at high risk to see the same criminal elements attack healthcare organizations, whether they be hospitals or nursing homes or clinics. Because what my security people tell me is the street value of a health record is 15 to 20 times more valuable than a credit card number. And so when there's that differential, you know the criminal elements will go after the high value targets, which are health records. What that means is the health industry needs to start using what I call industrial strength methods to secure their data. And one of the advantages I've had at CSC is because we serve many industries, we're using best practices from other industries and the federal government because many of my security guys come from the three-letter organizations that work for the government. And so we need to use that kind of expertise to protect our health data just like we do in other industries. What we really need to do is think about security as an enabler, because without adequate security, our patients won't give us the information we need to take better care of them. And so the whole network, the whole process of using digital information will be hindered if we don't guarantee the security of it in the highest possible way. So we need to think differently about security. It's not an added expense or bother. It's really the thing we need to do to enable all the other things we want to do to get that better information for better decisions at the right place at the right time. The AMA has said that we have three major focus areas we're going to really concentrate on. One is improving health outcomes. The second is improving medical education. And the third is improving physician satisfaction. We're a membership organization. Our physician members want to see their organization work on their behalf. And so what we did last fall was we hired the RAND Corporation to do a study of what are the physician satisfiers and dissatisfiers. They gave us their report in October of last year. And one of the biggest dissatisfiers is electronic health records for our physicians. And so we're going to be taking that information and really digesting it and parsing it and figuring out exactly what parts of the electronic record are causing the dissatisfaction. No physician wanted to give up their electronic records, they just wanted to make them better. So we're going to be working with industry and the vendor community to take the learnings that we have from our physician members and make sure we translate that into improvements in the product that they're delivering to our members. We all understand the benefit of having digital networked information for better information, but what we need to do is find a way that it's less intrusive in the practice, it's more useful to the workflow and the business process that the physician has, and it leads to helping the physician take better care of their patients as opposed to hindering their ability to do so. We're coming through a series of waves. The first wave was get off a of paper onto a digital platform. We've done a lot of that. The meaningful use penetration is very high and we're now networking that digital information together. And the natural consequence of those first two actions, getting off a of paper and then digitally networking it together, is we're going to want to analyze that digital networked information in a much more powerful way than we ever could before. And I think that's where analytics, population health, and big data analytics are going to start taking place. And it's very exciting because for us that have been feeding the system with all this information, we've been waiting for that system to give us something back. And so that's what I think is going to happen here in the health reform that we're talking about, whether it's payment reform or delivery reform, changing organizations to accountable care organizations, more reporting on quality, that's all going to be benefit from the digital networked information that we're now collecting.